Hello everybody, this is Jason with RediscoverThe80s.com and I'm going to show you today how to do a quick and dirty Hot Wheels display border for your kids room or main cave or wherever you want to put and hang your 164 scale Hot Wheels cars that are still on the card. Now I've got several cars here and I've got a border up and I'll show you real quick what I did so far which was just one line of cars going from one side of the room to the other uh, and it displays uh, roughly about 20, I think 24 cars it depends on the size uh, some of these other bigger cars bigger packages you know, a little bit wider uh, you can get about 22 or 24 uh, just depending on what you do but it's pretty simple. I got the everything you need right here. This is some trim I bought at Home Depot that has a small little groove in it. And basically you put that on the top and on the bottom to hold the car in place. And then you can slide them in and out from the side. I've seen several videos on YouTube that does it vertically. Now that's really good if you have a lot of cars and you want to put them on a wall, but you're blocking, you know, the image of the actual car above it, which is really what you want to see when you're going to display something like this. And especially if you've got some really cool card backs, like uh, some of these Batman ones that I have that have uh, different colors, symbols, you know things like that. The James Bond ones down here are really cool. And they have, you know, the different uh, movies and the cards above them. So you want to take a look at them. So I figured doing a border horizontally is a lot better than doing it vertically, but you cannot obviously fit as many cars because you can really stack them on top of each other. Kind of like, you know, they're sitting here now. But, uh, just buy your trim. I, I want to say that one like eight foot long strip is not even three dollars at Home Depot or Lowe's. And I bought a pack of these uh, poster or picture frame uh, strips, and you know, hopefully they will hold. I, don't <laughs> I just put these up here, so I'm not sure how durable they are since they are meant for posters and picture frames but as long as you're not you know trying to put up uh, really heavy cars then it should work okay now if you're like me I love the retro collection that Hot Wheels has put out and these actually the packages don't have a lip at the bottom they go all the way to the bottom of the card, so haven't figured out a way to use those. Now, obviously, you can do those vertically, no problem, because there's enough space on either side. But if you do the Hot Wheels retro collection, uh, you're not going to be able to use those. You're going to need just the regular package that has room on the bottom to slide them in and out. So, having said that. Let me, uh, I'm going to put another border row of cars right below this one, and I'll show you how to do it. Okay, so I did just a little bit of prep work. Basically, just take these strips and separate them. There's a one side for, this is the wall side, so that's the side that's going to be touching the wall. So this side that's the red, uh, you just remove the backing. I can do it one-handed and then we're going to put that right up against the back of the trim and with the first one I did it about every I don't know foot or so I think I used maybe seven total for this top strip I'll probably use just six there's 12 that come in a pack and I'm sure you can probably get more if you wanted to but for the sake of uh, just what I'm doing here. I'm going to do them about a foot apart and I'm going to do it. 
do a few less than on the top than on the bottom just for the weight. So I'm going to finish doing this and then we'll hang it. Okay, so we're getting ready to hang it. I uh, just wanted to show you when you go to hang it, um, do the bottom first. <laughs> and then that way you can take your level. I just got a simple level here to you know, put on top or bottom so when you are holding it up there you get it somewhat straight. It helps to have a someone on the other end of the strip just to keep it steady. But uh, do the bottom first and then take a few cars once you have the bottom strip in, put them up there and, and go ahead and slide them in and then that way you really don't need to level up the top. Just make sure your cars are in there and press it against the back and you know, the beauty about these strips is they're supposed to come off cleanly so obviously you can use glue if you wanted to use glue but I wanted to use those strips because obviously we <laughs> are still uh, painting here in this room uh, if you you know and then the, this is not going to be a permanent spot for these cars we'll eventually take them down someday but um, you know do the bottom first and then the top and then what I'm going to do here is just butt right up against this trim, the top of the next row below it. Okay, so I got all the backs off of the strips, and I'm just following right up along the top. Now, one thing I did fail to mention, make sure you got your wall pretty clean. The strips uh, recommend that on the back, so I just wiped it down with a wet towel. And that one didn't quite get long enough. Uh, so th these things can be cut. And maybe I'll end up cutting that to match it a little bit better. Uh, just, I guess they're not all cut to the same length, even though this end matches up pretty well. So there's a, <laughs> a lesson learned, but I'll just uh, figure that out as we go. And then I'm going to do the bottom. We'll be all done. Okay, so I've got a couple of cars slid in there, and basically I'm just sliding them down as we put in the bottom part here to make sure we're getting the proper height. So it's a little hard to do this one handed when you're holding a camera, but uh, I just keep sliding them down until you get to where there's a strip and then get it up to the spot where you need it to be and put it right up against the wall and then once we get that done the bottom row will be done and we'll start sliding some cars in and I'll show you the finished product okay so I'm all done it only took about you know five or ten minutes to put it up there uh, even the you know the first row wasn't that long and those strips are pretty much you know, ready to go. Just got to apply a little pressure and they'll stay up. Uh, so there it is. I just about had the right amount of cars. I got a few left over. But uh, to start, I think we got a pretty good uh, selection here. And this is going to be the fun part because then now we can go through there and actually do a little inventory and I can show off what I have. Uh, top rows, primarily Batmobiles. Uh, we got the bat and a couple bat pods from the Dark Knight and the, uh, the camouflage tumbler. I have a three pack with the regular tumbler, tumbler and also a five pack that has another uh, type Batmobile in there in the Joker's ride. So I'll have to figure out how to do <laughs> three and five packs in another time, but there's uh, another couple style Batmobiles. The Batman. There's two of those that are. Each one of these usually has two variants. So uh, I've collected both of those. You got the uh, Arkham Asylum uh, Batmobiles there. 89 red and gold. And then uh, Batman Brave and the Bold. I have one of those. And then there's a couple of the 66 Batmobiles one of the uh, older models 
and then some of the other new ones from the uh, Arkham Knight video game, and then the brand new movie, Batman vs. Superman, and then I've got the full set of the recent James Bond cars, there's five of those, Spy Love Me, Skyfall, Goldfinger, Diamonds Are Forever, and Casino Royale. And then down to the next row, my buddy Wyatt just sent me these three, which I'm in love with, from uh, Super Mario and Super Mario 2 and Super Mario 3, those new ones that just came out. I think it was either last year or this year. I've got a few of the Atari ones that came out, oh, those were a few years ago. I got, I think, three of the five in that set. And then I love these ones. The uh, Monster Cereals. There's just three of those. Surprised they had didn't have Frankenberry. I might have to go out there and look and see if they do have Frankenberry. But uh, found those at a store nearby. And then these two Star Wars ones, I actually didn't get in my area. Those were up there when I was visiting my buddy Wyatt. There's eight of those. I've got two of them. Really like the cards on those. And then we got the Enterprise from Star Trek. George Jetson's mobile. Uh, Snoopy there on his house. We got the Homer mobile. And then we've got Kit from Knight Rider. That came out a couple of years ago. Ecto One. That was a 2010 model. And we have a New Wave DeLorean. Really like the paint job on that one. And there were several in that set that was uh, different styles of music. Herbie. And then the DeLorean and the new hovering DeLorean, I'll say, that just came out, I think, this past year. So that'll do it. I hope you enjoyed the video. And please subscribe. And let me know in the comments what you think. And if you're going to attempt it yourself, love to hear your feedback. And appreciate you watching.